Good morning and welcome to Gloucester. So this is a practice round. I'm practicing on the course. So what on earth do I do when I practice on the course? The first thing I do is take a penalty drop out of the ditch. I'm going to try and hook a 7 iron. I managed a little draw but I didn't manage the big hook that I wanted. So any round where you don't have a card in your hand, where it is not going to alter your handicap, is a practice round. So I'm going to tell you what I kind of like do. Because everybody has a different idea about how to practice on the course. And the one thing I do practice is them four footers. Now I'm lucky, because I can watch this swing one frame at a time and I can see what I did wrong and hopefully I fix that now if you're struggling then get your phone out put it in slow-mo and get a mate to record you and then you can watch it one frame at a time you can see where you're going wrong that time I'm testing will my ball stop coming out of the rough now the golf course has firmed up and the answer was yes and that makes up for the bogey on the first six iron from the yellow tee and I've hit it as sweet as a nut but I'm through the back and this lie is pretty ugly so I've learnt something else. From the yellow tee, no more six iron. Fourth tee, ground is firming up a bit. Let's try a three wood. Let's just see how far it will go. And I think it would have been far enough if I hadn't pulled it into the tree or drawn it into the tree and left myself 200. Now most people practice on the course by quite simply when they hit a bad shot they drop a second ball and have another go and I've got no issue with that. What I would do though is go and play the bad shot rather than the second good shot if you see what I mean now the one sort of practicing on the course that I would not recommend is what a guy used to do at Lillybrook he used to get six balls out of his bag hit six tee shots and then be scurrying around the left rough and the right rough trying to find them all then bring them back to, the cent to a central point and then hit six shots into the green and he became an absolute thorough pain in the backside because you would catch him up and he'd be scurrying around all over the place and you'd have to wait and then if he spotted you while he was on the green he'd pick his balls up and go and then he would leave all of his pitch marks to you yeah so please don't practice on the course that way. And of course the other thing I'm doing this evening is trying to figure out my chipping. How is the ball bouncing? Am I getting a bit of check? Is it running out too far? And I'm adjusting myself accordingly so that the next time I have got a card in my hand, I'll do better. Seven is playing down the wind. The ground's firming up. Let's try a three wood just for a change. Yeah, shot trace is telling a little bit of a lie there. And I've ended up in the left rough. And I'm aiming too far right. 
and I didn't see anything of this ball into the sun. That's another thing that the camera does for me. It at least shows me how I'm aiming. So practicing on the course, trying to get a feel for the conditions, getting a feel for how I'm hitting it and practicing certain shots. That's what I prefer to do. I prefer to try something different on a hole that I'm struggling on. Oh boy, I can't wait for the north wind to go and then I can start hitting driver here and getting on in two. So I tackle holes that I struggle on and I tackle shots that I struggle with. I got a bit too close here. Take the pitching wedge, open the face, carve it up into the air, onto the front of... Uh, no, that's not the front of the green. Huge bounce to the right. What an absolute mess. But even when you hit a bad one, you learn something, don't you? You know that next time, you're going to do it better. So if you're in that position with a card in your hand, you'll do it better because you've done it badly already. First long lag, have I still got it? That's two feet, so the answer is, I've still got it. I don't need to go out of my way on the putting green and practice me lag putting. I'll just stick to my normal routine, which is four footers, left to right, right to left, uphill, downhill, all the usual. Well, it's not going very well, but on the other hand, it's going better than I expected. When you play golf in a strong wind two days running, it really does destroy your swing. I'm not so much worried about that because I'm hitting some decent shots now. What I'm more worried about is the fact that the greens are hard and my chipping is not stopping by the hole anymore. Yeah, change of conditions. Got to practice them. I think I'll be switching to the sand wedge more often. Talking of practicing on the course, at some point this ground is going to be hard enough, and it might be hard enough now, for me to hit a um, hit with three wood from the yellows just here. The only way to find out is to hit with three wood from the yellows. And this is another part of practice, you know, figuring out how far your ball is going off the tee box and whether you need to put the driver away and take out something a fraction smaller. Well that three wood wasn't the best I've ever hit. This looks a lot worse than it is. I've got a plenty of room for a golf swing. And we get it on the green, briefly. So then we've got a chip. Am I getting used to the bounce and the pace of the green this evening? Well, not quite. Didn't get the borrow right on that. And here's where all the practice on the short putts pays off. A little downhill, a little squirrely in the hole. On paper I should be able to reach this green with a four iron. But I think because I'm a little bit anxious of getting the ball high enough, I never quite hit it well enough. So I'll stick with the hybrid. See even a negative is a learning opportunity. Even a bad shot teaches you something like a bad putt like that. Always got to be learning on a practice ground, on a practice round. 
ground's firming up, as I've been saying, so let's try a three wood. You see, you can do this in a practice round. You can try something different. Will a three wood from the yellows get me in a decent position? And it has, because the flag's on the lower level. If the flag was on the right hand side on the upper level, then I really wouldn't want to be 120 odd yards away hitting an eight iron up there. So perhaps I'll stick with the driver. Now the par three. Flag's back and the tee's back. So a longer shot today. Slightly wet. Yeah, if this About comes eight foot sure. where you are, then it goes dry. Because <laughs> I haven't got to that bit yet. Oh, it's a little wet here. Now you've made me hammer it. <laughs> <laughs> Never trust a green keeper. Never trust a green keeper. They always go in one hand. I say, I say that loosely, boy. Well, yeah, it is in a very strange turnaround with the weather. 14, and I'm not particularly happy with the way I'm hitting the four iron. So let's give it another go. That wasn't too bad. I just drifted it to the right. Ball above the feet. That was awful. And I recognize it because I was simply trying to hit the ball too hard. I fell into that horrible habit of putting a long club in my hand and then trying to knock the cover off the ball and that's not the way you do it is it you take your easy swing to the long clubs Well, I'm about to show you why I don't take driver on this hole. Firstly, I can only see half of the green. I can't see the flag. And even though that you would take this drive because it's pretty reasonable and it's finished up by the bunker, the shoulder of the bunker is in the way. It's in the way of me pitching towards the flag. And if the flag had been to the right, I would have been pitching over the bunker, landing on a downslope. I've lost my ability to control where the ball finishes. So a three wood is a good option because that leaves me back. And an iron is, a, is an even better option because then I'm hitting a full shot with spin on it. Anyway, 
Down 18. And a nice cold drink in the clubhouse. Shot tracer's wrong there. It's out to the right again. 64 yards, sand wedge. I think I need to practice that one, don't you? Cheerio.